the whiteout conditions. Jonathan Rivera is doing his own digging as well, trying to get his girlfriend to work. Shoveling too much snow, it's crazy. What do you think of all this snow? It's too much, way too much. I lived here my whole life and I, sh I should get used to it by now. Not too much for the crew at Dylan's Diner. They made it in to help the local plow crews refuel. The roads are awful. I come 495. There was like, you couldn't see anything, total whiteout. I was really scared because I have a little uh, sob, so my car doesn't do well in the snow. But you made it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Late, but I made it. <laughs> Chelmsford's highway team is doing all they can to keep the roads clear. It's really fluffy. The challenge of blowing, like I said, when you're driving, it's blowing up over all the plows into your windshield, so the windshields can't keep up, and you got snow in your windows, and you can't see, so you got to pull over and clear your windows. We're lucky the he we're not getting the heavy, heavy, wet stuff, which could be down power lines and trees, which we'd rather have this fluffy stuff. And it's still fluffy here in Chelmsford. Jack and Lisa. All right, Karen, thank you so much. Uh, we've got a little example for you about just how dangerous it is driving earlier today. State police tell us that several drivers actually drove the wrong way on the Mass Pike early this morning in near whiteout conditions. By the way, those wrong way drivers didn't cause any accidents, but they were very lucky. Let's talk about the storm overnight. There was a time when the intensification got almost frightening. And the thunder. You heard it. Oh my gosh, I mean, yes. almost nothing wakes me up at that day. <laughs> I, I agree with you. You know, I didn't do much sleeping last night. When I was, I was woken up by the thunder snow. We had claps of it around four or five o'clock in the morning. And you're looking at live pictures now. It looks like situate. I think we're along the coastline down there. Uh, avoiding major coastal problems, which is great news. We are coming up on another high tide right now. There will be a lot of beach erosion for the outer Cape. The coastal flooding is not a concern like it was last time because astronomically speaking, the tides are not as high as they were with the last blizzard, but the waves are still pretty high. We're still getting wave heights about 15, 20 feet crashing ashore. It's a little wild scene uh, down there in Situate and Situate Harbor. Let's go to the radar and see where we're at with this blizzard. And it does appear like we met the thresholds for a blizzard. Three consecutive hours of winds that are 35 miles per hour or greater or frequent gusts of 35 miles per hour or greater and quarter mile or less visibility due to snowfall. And it happened in Boston early this morning, seven, eight, nine o'clock. And that's around the time we were getting into those thunder snow bands where rates of snow are about three inches an hour. Now the storm center is moving out through the Gulf of Maine. It's about 100 or so miles offshore, maybe a little bit more at this point. Nonetheless, it's so large, so strong, so powerful. It continues to throw.